I was with one guy and I had a panic attack. This was when I was you know, kind of really bad anxiety and the guy just like laughed and thought I was like, come on, Johnny, like, what are you doing? Like, mm. and I was like, just be a bit more understanding. Like, you know, it's, that's, yeah, that was the end of our, yeah. Year. I was 20, it all just came out. I had a breakdown, I became psychotic. And I was put into this psychiatric hospital and I was given a diagnosis of uh, schizoaffective disorder, which is like a combination of schizophrenia and bipolar, which for me was the end of the world. One day I kind of cracked and um, I just said to myself, it's better if I'm not here anymore. And so I, I ran away from the hospital and um, I went to this bridge in London. I don't know how long I was on there for, but then this stranger came up and just it, uh, just the way that he said, you'll get better, just with this conviction. And I don't know, I just, um, yeah, I, I, I changed my mind. My, my journey's been, a, again, quite a long one. So uh, I tried so many different medications over the years. Uh, virtually every kind of antipsychotic there is, they put me on. It's a roller coaster. I go up and down and I just... Um, and I have my relapses and have to go back into hospital. I struggle with uh, different side effects like, like weight gain, like libido, is, like, because of the medication is a problem. And, but but with, with this psychiatrist now, again, like, I can talk to her about it and she's really like, okay, well, let's try and sort out your libido then. If, rather than before, psychiatrists were like, well, tough, you just have to deal with it. Yeah. How do you manage the day-to-day the -day stuff in life, like, like dating or managing oh insecurities that everybody has, like, struggling with your body image and that kind of thing how, how, you know not that there's any secret formula for this <laughs> or any solution that you could say but yeah. how do you manage these these kind of things yeah i can get really insecure i mean i am insecure but like when you're in a relationship or you start to kind of develop a relationship with someone like the insecurities all come out the paranoia all comes out mm -hmm. and a lot of guys i find just well that's too much um Whenever I've like, I've been on a number of like different potential relationships, and whenever I start to really open up, and I probably go too far, and like the next time I see I see the guy, like happened happened uh, just recently a few weeks ago, I was seeing someone and it was going really well, and the one date, I think it was like the sixth date that we went on, and I started to really open up and talk about like different insecurities and uh, the next day I saw him he was like um, this this isn't working like this and I was like, like this keeps happening like whenever I open up and now I'm trying to like all of my early 20s were spent I need to find someone I need to find someone someone's got to fix me someone's got to save me which is a horrible place to be in um, but now when I'm 31 now and I'm finally like actually if I'm on my own I'm on my own like um, again it's trying to be more comfortable in my own skin I think that's so important so I'd love to hear you read a passage of the book. Okay. When I went back to Manchester to finish my degree, I met a guy, but it proved to be a short-lived romance. He was the first person I'd ever been with, and the relationship moved so quickly that I told him I loved him after four days. We both ended up hurting each other, and really I was in no fit state of mind to be in a relationship. I was still far too unsettled. Yeah, I think a lot of people like relate to the, the you know their first dating things, and people take a lot of their first experiences to heart, don't they? Yes. A lot of people I've had dates with have had really good conversations with that I feel like I can open up to have equally had you know mental health issues yeah. and stuff they've struggled with as well. And not to say that other people don't understand, but it is comforting to feel like you yeah. can open up to somebody. Yeah, massively, massively, and just for someone, even if like like guys I've been with, uh, even if they don't have mental health issues, just having that understanding and that, there were, again, in the book I talked about, I was with one guy and I had a panic attack. This was when I was you know, kind of really bad anxiety and the guy just like laughed and thought I was like, come on, Johnny, like, what are you doing? Like, mm. and I was like, just be a bit more understanding. Like, you know, it's, that's, yeah, that was the end of our, this yeah, year. I'm not surprised. Yeah. But we're never getting singledom and finding ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> trying, trying. <laughs>